With the cost of living crisis and talks of the UK being in a recession, you're going to hear a lot more about GDP. But what exactly is GDP? So we at NISA have put this video together to help you understand what GDP is and how it could affect you. GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product, which is the total value of all the goods and services produced in an economy. We often refer to this also as output. GDP, therefore, is the total value of all the goods and services that we produce in factories, farms and the services we produce in offices. So GDP is our main indicator of economic health. In fact, we only consider a country to be in a recession when GDP starts to shrink. We mainly use GDP as a measure of economic performance over time, which allows us to compare our prospects to other countries. For example, organisations like the OECD, who estimate how GDP will grow across countries, found that the UK actually ranked bottom of most other large countries. This is helpful information in understanding how we're performing relatively to other countries and places an important economic concept like this into context. There are different types of GDP figures that you might come across. There are those that look at the past, which are produced by the Office for National Statistics. These take a few months to put together typically. There are nowcasts, which look at where GDP is today, which we at NISA put out in the form of our monthly GDP trackers. There are also forecasts, which we do as well, alongside the Bank of England, which estimate where GDP will go tomorrow. GDP is probably the most common economic term you'll hear from media, economists and policymakers. As a result, people criticise policymakers for focusing too much on GDP and not enough on the things that matter, like living standards. There's certainly some validity to this, as GDP can't capture every measure of economic fairness. As a result, the ONS in the UK which calculate GDP have recently come up with something called Beyond GDP Measures. These measures capture concepts like inclusive income, which attempt to centre economic performance within the context of living standards. However, many argue that the best way to improve living standards is to increase the size of the pie, because living standards is inherently connected to GDP and vice versa. The main takeaway here is that GDP absolutely matters, not just as a measure of economic performance, but also because it's not possible to grow a fairer economy without making it bigger in the first place. But GDP isn't the final word in economic performance or fairness. As always, the detail lies under the bonnet. We hope this video has helped you understand GDP a little bit better. Do stay tuned to our social media pages for how GDP is developing, our monthly GDP trackers, and our quarterly outlook so that you can understand what's going on beneath the surface.